Right, in this video I'm going to show you the nine apps that I absolutely could not live without as a content creator. I could live without them, but they're really, really important. And yes, there's nine, not ten, because I couldn't think of a tenth. I've often said that for a Mac app to become absolutely indispensable in this business, it has to be really, really special. It needs to be easy to set up, easy to customise, and save me a boatload of time while delivering a measurable return on investment. That's not an easy job at all, but I have found nine Mac apps that do just that. And yes, I could live without them technically, but equally, I wouldn't want to. And I'm pretty sure there'll be at least one app in this list that transforms your life. Let's start with how I keep my Mac nice and clean and tidy. And by that, I don't mean cleaning the surface, although I do keep them fairly tidy in that respect. I actually mean keeping the SSD drive as tidy as possible. And to do that, I use something called Cleaner One Pro from Trend Micro, who are very kindly sponsoring this video. I remember running Cleaner One Pro on my brand new iMac after two or three weeks of it being used, and it found two gig of junk. And these are fairly big files that are being left on your drive somewhere that you have no idea are there, you've completely forgotten about. For me, it's video files, so it's footage that I've shot and put somewhere and just completely forgot it was there. Cleaner One Pro sniffs that stuff out, shows you it, and lets you delete it. And if you like, you can go into a much more detailed report of what's taking up space on your Mac. And I absolutely love the duplicate photos feature in Cleaner One Pro, where you can find the nine identical photos of your dog and delete eight of them straight away. There's a disk map that lets you easily see what's in specific folders. There's a startup manager. There's a section for finding duplicate files. There's a brilliant app management feature which lets you remove apps completely from your Mac, which is very difficult to do in Mac OS. There's even a file shredder to completely remove any traces of certain files. There's also a toolbar at the top of the screen which shows your CPU usage, the network and memory usage, and from which you can do a quick scan for junk files. I hate the thought of big files sitting on this Mac chewing up space, which is why Cleaner One Pro is an immediate no brainer install with every single Mac. To find out more, just click that link below. Next up we have the password manager, and if you're the sort of person who has to reach into the depths of your brain to pull out login details, or worse still, if you've got a spreadsheet somewhere with all of your usernames and passwords in it, it's time to step things up a gear. I genuinely could not get through my day securely without a password manager. Firstly, it makes setting up a new Mac, which I do way too much, really, really simple. I never have to remember anything apart from my master password, and equally throughout the day, if I'm logging into my website or into apps, or if I just need to remember a software license or some kind of ID or security check thing, everything is in my password manager. It really isn't the sexiest thing in this list, but like all indispensable software, you can't live without it as soon as you experience it. These days, my recommendation for the best password manager for pretty much anyone and any business is RoboForm. It has all of the password manager stuff you'd expect. You can put anything into RoboForm and keep it very safe, but it has a fantastic one-click login feature, which is literally one click and you're in. You can also share login details with family, friends, colleagues, etc. very securely, and there's an emergency access feature, so if something goes wrong and you can't get into stuff but you need someone to get in, they can. RoboForm are a fantastic supporter of this channel, which also means I can get you guys a tasty discount, so check out that link below. Next up is the writing tool that I use. So if you don't know, I also have a blog which is very regularly added to. So basically I spend most of my life writing blog posts, turning those blog posts into videos and tapping away on the keyboard to make all that happen. Now I have two options with this. Either one, use Microsoft Word, or two, use a dedicated, distraction-free writing app. And the app I use for that is Ulysses, which is utterly fantastic. Now there are loads of distraction-free writing apps out there. I've just found Ulysses to work perfectly for me. It syncs across all of my Macs onto my iPads as well. Basically, all you need to do if you do a lot of writing like me is find an app which strips back the user interface and just gives you this kind of palette to write on. I genuinely could not be as productive as I am with writing if I didn't have Ulysses. It even exports to WordPress, which is what my website is based on, so that saves a whole bunch of time as well. Just please stop using Word if that's what you're doing. It's not the best writing app, but it never has been. 
Number four on my list is the calendar app. Now, you can't get too excited about this. It's just a digital diary. But when you find the right one, it changes everything. And my advice is to look beyond the macOS calendar app because it's okay, it does the job, it syncs across all of your Apple devices, but it's nothing like Fantastical. It's got so much built into it, a lot of which I don't use, but the one feature which I absolutely adore is the little widget, I think it's called a widget, at the top of the screen. So it sits in your menu bar, and if you click that, you get a full calendar, so you can, you can see your calendar, you can see what's coming up, and you can add items to it. That might not sound very impressive, but I tend to use that widget more than I use Fantastical, the app, because it's just so convenient and it's just always there. And the way that you add stuff into your calendar is absolutely genius. You basically just tell it in natural language what you're doing. So you type in going to the pub with Dave tomorrow at the dog and duck at 3 p.m. Remind me at 1 p.m. Not that you'd need reminding about going to the pub, but you get the point. As much as you might want to get away from email, it's not possible ever, I'm afraid. So you do need a decent email application. And for the last two years, I've been using Spark. And Spark has received a massive update recently, which looks fantastic. They've kind of combined email with to-do list functionality. So it's turning email into a task-based activity, which for someone like me, who is not very good at managing his email, is again, game changing. I no longer miss messages. I no longer look at my inbox and think, how on earth am I going to tackle this? It's made email management almost enjoyable. There are loads of different email clients out there, but again, I just recommend looking beyond Apple Mail because as good as Apple Mail is, there are better solutions out there. Number six is the note-taking app that I use, and it's interesting to me at least that this is the only app on this list which is Apple branded. That's right, I don't use Evernote, I used to, but I don't use Evernote anymore. I don't use any third-party note-taking apps. Everything goes into Apple Notes. There's two reasons for that. One of them is that it syncs perfectly across all of my Apple devices. I've never had an issue with that. But also, it's just so simple to use and so easy to add stuff into. And I've been using Apple Notes as my second brain, which is just a great way of putting everything in here into here so I never forget it. Number seven is the Messenger app that I use. So if you bear in mind that I'm running a content business here where I'm putting stuff onto YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and then I have WhatsApp and iMessage and Telegram, I have a horrendous amount of incoming messages, DMs, and notifications. Dealing with all of those notifications coming in from different services is very tricky, if not impossible. If you're aware of an app or a service that ties all of that together for you, please let me know. But when it comes to messaging, there is a solution. It's called Beeper for some reason, and it was introduced to me by my podcast co-host Rob. Beeper is this central place, basically, for all of your messaging apps. So you can put Telegram in there, WhatsApp, iMessage, Messenger, and even your social media profiles, so LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, you get the idea. Basically, anywhere that you get messages from, you can put into Beeper. And that gives you this unified inbox so you can see all of your messages from all of those services in one place and respond to them. That saves you time, but it also means that you don't miss out on important messages. Number eight is my Task Manager app, and this must be the most oversaturated category on the macOS App Store. I used to be a Things 3 user, but a couple of years ago I switched to TickTick, and I did that for two reasons. The first one is that TickTick is cross-platform, so Windows, Mac OS, and you, you get the picture. The second reason is because, well, it's because MKBHD uses TickTick, and I'd do most things he does, apart from play Frisbee, because I... I can't play Frisbee. Sorry, Ultimate Frisbee. I think I'll stick with Tick Tick for quite a long time because switching task manager apps is a big job in itself. So with that in mind, when you find one that works, stick with it. Number nine on my list is a massive time saver, but it, again, it's not the most sexy thing on this list, and you've possibly never thought of it. It's a text expander app called Text Expander. And what these apps do is basically remove any repetitive typing from your day. So if you're always typing out the same address, if you've got a, an email intro that you're constantly retyping again and again and again, you put all of that into Text Expander and then you assign a keyboard shortcut to that piece of text. So for instance, if I want to add my mailing address into an email, I just type Z, and we do say Z in this country, Z add 
and bang, there it is. And the great thing about Text Expander is that every single day I think of something new to add into it which will stop me having to type that thing out again and again and again in the future. If you'd rather not pay for Text Expander, I completely understand. And the good news is that macOS has its own text replacement system built into it, so you can get all of that functionality pretty much and all of that time saving without spending a penny. I've got two questions for you now. The first one is which of those nine apps has piqued your interest and why? And the second one is which app have I missed? You know, is there something that you use every single day on your Mac that you think I should know about? Let me know in the comments and if you've still got some time, keep watching for a link to another video that I think you'll find very interesting.